This is a video tour of 1927 Tennessee. Just a quick look around the neighborhood. You are very close to 19th Street, which is just this intersection right here, which is a very busy road. Pretty good sized front yard here. Sidewalk in front of the house is not in good condition. Um, it's very much breaking apart. Grass is growing in between. Uh, the reason that I point this out is because Lawrence recently developed mandates that say that the owner of a house is responsible for the sidewalk in front of the house. And um, if it needs to be replaced or repaired, that has to be done on the owner's dime. With a sidewalk that looks like this, um, that's a little bit more concerning just because concrete work is expensive and this might come up sooner rather than later. So panning around, you can see the front of the house and you've got this cute little windy driveway that goes to the garage there. 3 decomposition roof, um, which looks really quite good overall. As far as the front part of this structure, it's obvious that they painted recently to make it look quite a bit cleaner, but there's still some things going on that I'd like to point out. So the first is there's definitely been some pretty decent settling on this porch. You can see just all the cracking here that's happening. Um, and there's a very good sized crack that is a little uneven here on the front of the porch as well. And then that crack just kind of runs along the base this whole way. The siding on this property, um, there are a couple different types of siding, but this sort of wavy siding here is most likely asbestos based just given the age of the house and the look of it. I don't know that for sure because it hasn't been tested to my knowledge, um, but it does have that appearance. So there are several spots where the siding is damaged. It's cracking off or it's missing. Um, and they just really painted over a lot of that stuff. I mean, you can see here on this windowsill, they painted it white, but it almost looks like they, it was rotted and they just like put wood filler in here and gooped it on here and then just painted over it to make it look a little better. Same thing here. So they painted this little post, but this board is pulling out. You can see that was all rotted out in the front. They just kind of chipped it out and painted it. Um, there's also a big gap here between the siding, which isn't great. Those need to be re-secured because water can get in on that section. Walking up towards the front here and just a little bit more evidence of the damaged siding as we go into the front of this house. But cute little porch, nice view into your neighborhood. Okay, so walking inside the house now, we come in on the living room and these are original hardwood floors here in the living room you can see there's a coat closet and just panning to my left the ceiling is a flat ceiling so no texture to it pretty good sized living room especially on a house that's older like this and you do have a coat closet right off of the front door so as you can see, as I'm standing here, uh, to my right is gonna bring you down hallways to bedrooms. To my left is going to be access into the kitchen. So um, walking into the kitchen, I do wanna show you the windows. They are double pane vinyl cased windows, which are definitely newer to the structure as well and provide a pretty decent insulation. You've got a laminate flooring here in the kitchen and as you can see, there's really a good amount of counter space and storage space in this kitchen. White cabinets, which are really popular right now. Um, the top of these cabinets, you can see, are tiled. So they use the same tile as the backsplash and as the actual countertop. A um, little bit deeper sink here, and you can see window that looks out into the backyard space, which we'll look at more closely in a second. So um, right off of the kitchen is what appears to be a more official sort of dining room. So you can see this is really that dining room space. Again, you've got hardwood floors in here. This is wood paneling on the walls, but it really is like the thicker, higher end wood paneling. You do have a little built-in in here in this room. 
And so stepping back up into the kitchen out of this room and directly to my right is going to be your pantry. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty deep and you have these shelves that pull out. Um, I'm not gonna pull this really far because it seems like it's kind of wedged. Okay. So then straight forward through the kitchen is gonna bring us into the laundry room. So laundry room is a painted cement floor. Some storage here, you can see you've got attic access in this room. And then also um, on the east side of this laundry room, you've got your furnace and water heater. Okay. So electrical box out here as well. And you can see they've got a three prong electric outlet here for um, a potential washer dryer setup. But then you've got some other outlet options too. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and step outside. So um, here is a view of the backyard from this little back porch that I'm standing on. So really, really good sized lot. You're surrounded by a lot of big mature trees, which gives you quite a bit of privacy. Um, the thing I would say is in these older properties that are surrounded by these big trees like this, it's a good idea to get a sewer camera done just to make sure that roots aren't blocking your sewer line. Walking out into the yard and I'm gonna pan back towards the house. So you can see that the house is on a cinder block foundation, which is not uncommon for the age of it. Um, but again, just some damage siding that they've kind of painted over, little bits of damage here and there. Looks like they just filled something here and painted over it. Okay. So it looks like the yard is completely fenced in, but it's hard to see the fence because it's covered with this growth. But it appears to be a shorter wood fence. It's that chicken wire spanning across it. And this also gives you a closer look at the garage. So the garage has different siding than the rest of the house. Um, so, I mean, you can see that that wavy siding that was on the front here is also on the back of the house. Um, but then you've got more of like a wood plank kind of siding here on this garage which um, is peeling up in some places, but not necessarily a huge deal. I do want to point out some stuff that looks, you know, again, is kind of going on with the foundation, some broken tiles there. There's a pretty big like gap there in between the foundation of like the house proper and what I would consider to be that little dining room. Um, I would say that probably needs to be filled in so you don't have critters crawling in there. And here is the view of the front of the garage. You'll notice there is no side door to it. Um, so front of the garage here, you've got a little bit of damage again on the siding here, just above where that wire goes in. See that hole that probably needs to be addressed. Um, and they've used spray foam to seal up gaps and things on this and then just painted over that foam. But here is the other side of this garage. So you can see initially it was more this tan color. You can see all the excess of spray foam they've put in here as it's settled and moved and they're trying to stop those gaps. Um, so that gives you a pretty good idea of what it was looking like originally. But again, just more issues with the siding damage. You've just got lots of places where there's damage to siding um, that you might have to contend with here. Okay, so going back inside the house and we're gonna finish up that part of the tour. Okay, so you can see you've got a little code lock on this back door. There was a code lock on the front door to get in as well, which is nice. You don't necessarily have to have keys with you in order to get inside the property. Okay. So we're gonna go back through the living room and now we're gonna go down that hallway that I pointed out in the beginning that brings you to the bedrooms and a bathroom. So straight in front of me here, you can see they've got some built-ins and that's a pretty deep built-in here. This looks like it's probably a cabinet, yeah. So that gives you kind of an idea on storage. 
Uh, directly above my head is an attic fan right there. And the attic fan control is right there on the wall. Okay. So bedroom number one, when I come into this house, um, it is wallpapered in this bedroom and does have, you know, a bit of a texture sort of to it. I guess I don't know if that's wallpaper or kind of like a harder wood siding underneath it, but um, there's definitely a texture to the wall. Same double pane vinyl case windows. This window is very, very foggy and that's because it's got a broken thermal pane seal. So moisture is getting in between the two panes of glass which isn't a huge deal. It doesn't really change your insulation rating or anything. It's just not very pretty. So closet in this room is slightly bigger than you would guess um, because it extends on either side. And you can see that they've got this panel in the back and I believe that gives access to the back of the bathtub um, because the bathroom is just around this corner as well. So um, headed into the bathroom here, turning to my left, and you've got a white hexagon square sort of tile design, slight little crack going across the tile here, but nothing big. Um, tiled in shower bathtub situation here, and they do have one of these plastic doors on it. You can see they filled the window with these um, glass pieces, which is nice, um, provides some privacy there. Okay, um, and then tile up the walls, and you can see a little bit older vanity that it looks like they painted, but it's definitely got some areas, again, where it's just like they're bubbled up and a little damaged, and it looks like they just sort of painted over it. Okay. So then coming back out of the bathroom, we're gonna go into the last bedroom in the house. And so here's the view of the last bedroom. And this bedroom, just for reference, this window is facing Tennessee Street. So it's facing the front of the house. Okay. And then behind this door is the closet for this bedroom. So about the same size as the other closet. Um, not very big, but you know, maybe a little bit less than standard. For the age of the house, I'd say it's pretty normal. Okay, so that's it. Let us know what you think.